and the journey to NYC begins now. Sunday night, heading to Ben Gurion Airport, landing 5.30 in the morning, Monday morning, checking into my hotel, back-to-back meetings until Thursday, at which point I'm doing the commencement speech at Turo. It's going to be a jam-packed, intense, and exciting week. Let's do this. on this camera. Pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad. Panasonic, to work on that. I'm standing under the light so you can see me. It's super dark and the GH5 has approximately no light capabilities. Anyway, driver should be arriving any minute and the, um, my friend at LL hooked me up, so get some uh, lounge access, maybe take a shower, get some good food, fast Wi-Fi. Boarding is at 12.30. Security in Ben Gurion is absolutely the best. Three minutes and I'm through. No other airport has security this efficient. It's like a whole tech meetup in the lounge here. Or Ofer, the CEO of Similar Web. You got this guy, Ari Ginsberg. And then we got the best looking VC in Israel. This guy right here. Unbelievable. Wherever you go, you meet him. So you, we, uh, what are we having steak? You, need, you know the York? No. I uh, saw Similar Web. I, oh, yeah. Or Zor in, in there. Yeah. He's waiting right. for me. Tell Or, I, I, because I respect him, I need to turn on the camera. But I, I was tempted. Tell him Hillel said he's tempted. <laughs> Where are you going, New York? Yeah. 1.30? Hello? 1 a.m. See you on the other side, man. And the man himself, Mr. Ari Ginsberg. Let's switch sides. You, People can see. How are you? I'm good. How are you? The funniest oncologist on the planet. That's that, who you are. Yes, that's that's, that's, that's my claim to fame. I don't know how you do it, man. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm turning this thing off so I can get to the gate, board the plane, and get the heck out of here. Although I can't wait to get back. I already miss Israel. The perks of having important friends. This guy is fine business. So I'm boarding with him. So he's telling me to do that's what I'm doing. I just follow orders. He tells me to be somewhere, I'm there. Hopefully they won't give me problems. I think it's gotta be a first time I'm boarding first. But when you know important people, that's what happens. Also, Heiko, as in my travel agent, hooked me up with 35K, which is the only seat on the plane that has nothing in front of me. So I'm sitting by the window, but nothing in front of me. Chill, very chill seat. Ever. <laughs> this one. Cool. Right here. She's the best. <laughs> so cool. Thank you. Keep awesome going. service, guys. <laughs> Made it to NYC. Not a bad flight. Perfect morning here. Heading into the city for lunch with BH and then dinner with Turo. Made it to the hotel, hopefully checking in early, then heading to Reserve Cut with the PNH team. Awesome restaurant, amazing team. Pumped. right now with 40% brain capacity because I am in immense 
food coma. When I say food coma, and I've said that before, this is a whole different level. I'm sitting here in Reserve Cut, which is, you know, I, I was gonna say the best kosher restaurant, but you know, forget the word kosher. It's, it's one of the best restaurants in the world. Like we, I'm sitting with the B&H team and they, they bring here, you know, they bring guests here from around the world and it's kind of like a, uh, everyone agrees, you know, it's the best steak you're gonna have around the world, really. And uh, I, I asked uh, our waiter to bring over the chef and I'm lucky enough to meet this guy. What's your name? Michael, Chef Michael. How long have you uh, been here at Reserve Cut? Well, I've been at Reserve Cut for a little over six months now. Wow. Um, it's actually my first kosher restaurant and I, oh, wow. I took it on as a challenge because, um, you know, I know that uh, the kosher world can be a little um, little challenging, challenging with steak. Yeah, for sure, no question about it. I mean, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Like, I, if you look at, you know, if you look at my Instagram feed from today, I mean, this stuff is like art. I mean, do you, have you always been in food? Is this your kind of? Yeah, food has been my life since I was 16 years old. Interesting. Um, I've always been, there's something about the smells coming out of the kitchen when grandma's cooking. That always had that always had me like what's going on in there what's in the pot you know interesting but you're but, you, but I, I'm saying you know it's not now it sounds like I'm buttering you up but I, I actually like you know it's I think it goes beyond the taste here it's also the presentation I mean, this mm -hmm. is like an art yes. it's a real art I mean you you have to be taking pride you know I'm, I'm a tech guy like I take pride in like you know my work with startups and when it comes to food I mean the, the things that we just consumed here mm -hmm. it's it's like art again look at my Instagram feed you'll see the stuff it's like almost too pretty to eat yeah so I mean where do you see this this uh, this restaurant growing and expanding is it is it only here? Is it going to be in other places? What's the? If you're allowed to talk about that, I don't know if you're allowed to. Well, I know that the the owner is actually looking at other locations, so we can expand and um, so we can bring the food, you know, to more people that haven't been able, have the pleasure of coming to eat with us. I mean, you know, and again, the little I know very little about the restaurant industry, but what I do know is that it's a, it's a rough industry. But you guys somehow, how long has this restaurant been around? Do you Five know? years. Five years. Somehow you maintained that kind of premium. Everyone knows, you know, if there's one place, and there are a lot of great restaurants in, in New York. I don't know how familiar you are with the kosher scene. There's some really good ones. You know, there's yeah. Mike's Bistro, there's La Marie. I'm going there tonight. There's uh, Bedford on Park, all great places, respect. But Reserve Cut is on a different, you know. You're the head chef here? Yeah, executive chef. How many, uh, how big is your staff? Um, at the given moment, I have 28 line cooks, um, wow. seven dishwashers, uh, nighttime prep guys, morning prep guys. Um, it just goes on and on. I love it. You having a good time? I love it. I love right, it. Well, I'm going to let you go because you have a lot of work to do. I really appreciate this and I appreciate everything you do. Every time I come here, I told you it exceeds it. I have high expectations when I come here because I know every time I come here, it's like, holy cow, but it gets better and better. So thank you for that. And Anytime. I'm looking forward to meeting you next time time and remember me next time, all right? Absolutely. I'll, we'll send you the, I'll send you the YouTube link once it's live. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. What are you doing? Oh, what is that Oh, you jam-packed this thing, man. Hot. Score. Oh, yes. Eight battery rapid charger. Win. What is this? Oh, a tripod. Nice. More iPhone chargers. Can always use that. This is the big mama. The stereo speakers. Score. What we got going on here? Batteries, pre-charged and ready to use. Rechargeable batteries, always a win. And an amazing, amazing bag. Oh, win, score. Thank you, BNH. Love it. Well, that was a productive afternoon. And now, final meeting of the day, meeting Tzvi Elif from Turo, the guy who introduced me and is pretty much responsible for this trip. We were gonna eat dinner, but after that lunch, we we're meeting in the lobby just to catch up. No food shall be consumed for the next month. Yeah, probably change my mind tomorrow, but that was a crazy lunch. Reserve cut is outrageous. Day one in NYC coming to an end. The jet lag is strong, but I've held off till 10.15 and not fallen asleep. But now, I'm crashing. See you tomorrow.